Our universe is noisy. On a fundamental quantum scale, our universe jiggles and jostles like a lottery machine. No longer is the quantum measurement problem a problem, and the observer effect has been banished to the trash bin. At least so long as you believe in spontaneous collapse theories of quantum mechanics. One of the biggest problems plaguing our understanding of the quantum world is how to understand what happens when we observe microscopic systems. Some interpretations posit many worlds, others promote observation to a special process, causing a collapse of the quantum wave function. But spontaneous collapse theories instead suggest that wave function collapse is just something that happens to quantum systems. The original spontaneous collapse theory is called the GRW model, named after its progenitors Girardi, Ramini, and Weber. In their model, for every particle and every moment in time, there is a probability that it will collapse. A feature of this model is that the likelihood of collapse for macroscopic properties, such as the location of the center of mass, is equal to the sum of likelihoods for the pieces that make up the system. This ensures that large systems behave classically as their macroscopic properties have collapsed. Furthermore, there's a sort of leakage of collapse. If a large system interacts with a small system, the collapse of the large system induces collapse in the small system. In this way, measurements, which can be described as interactions between large systems and small systems, causes collapse in an entirely mechanical way. There are some problems with this model, though. The first, and perhaps most damning, is that in this model, energy is not conserved. At all. In fact, energy grows continuously, basically by forcing particles to take on even smaller volumes of space. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle demands a continual increase in momentum, thus leading to an increase in energy. Variations of the GRW model propose solutions, of course, but maybe this shouldn't be a problem at all. After all, energy isn't conserved in our universe anyway. There are other problems, such as not respecting the statistics of identical particles, but these can be resolved too by other variations. However, all of these variations have the common feature that collapse is a process that physically happens in a mechanical way. Specifically, the dynamics of quantum systems deviate from evolution via the Schrodinger equation. And unlike other quantum mechanics interpretations, this means that these spontaneous collapse models make different predictions than standard quantum mechanics, and thus it can be tested. So stay tuned, maybe we'll actually solve the measurement problem after all.